Hello and welcome to Minor Plays Age of Empires to the African Kingdoms expansion. So this is the these are the Ethiopians. So already you can see that the lumber camp and the mining camp look a little bit different. Now that looks very very much like you know what I would expect an Ethiopian uh, building to look like. So if I go up to the feudal age, so you can see here they're now more a bit, bit more thatched but definitely what you would expect it to look like so slightly different sails there as well but if I quickly build uh, stables blacksmith uh, let's put a market in as well bring you down and you can do the archery range so you can see what all of these buildings here look like it's pretty damn good artwork. So let's go up to the castle age and then they turn into a bit more stone. So while I'm building... Uh, what's that? Oh gee. Oops. That monastery looks quite nice. And let's put in the siege workshop as well. So you're getting an understanding of how these buildings look. So if I build the castle I'll show you what the unique unit is. It's the Shotel Warrior for 50 food and 35 gold. So this is an infantry, but you can see 40 hit points, 16 attack, but zero armor. Now that's the attack is definitely a good thing, but the limited armor is probably not. So they also have unique technologies. So this here is Royal Airs. So shot our warriors are created nearly instantly. So I'll show you more about the unique technologies later in another video. But the, uh, they also have torsion engines, which means that siege workshop units blast radius will increase. So, yeah, that's siege workshop. So, it can't really see any difference between when a mangonel fires, but it there's no difference in the blast radius on the screen. However, I'm sure it affects a much larger area there. So, the, uh, so that one's there. So if I get an elite shuttle warrior and where's Blacksmith? It's gonna take a little while to get used to what all of these buildings actually are. So a fully upgraded elite, elite shuttle warrior has 50 hit points, 22 attack, 3 melee armor and 5 pierce armor. Now other civ bonuses include if I can remember uh, archer range of this one. So the archers will fire 15% faster. They will also receive 100 gold and 100 food every time they advance into the next age. Quite a handy little bonus, especially if you're one of these people that likes to try and get an 18-minute an castle upgrade. You might be able to get that just a little bit easier. And then pikemen and halberdier upgrades are completely free. So I didn't even click on those, but it just goes up automatically. Quite a handy little one to have. The team bonus is that towers and outposts have an extra three line of sight. So if I take off that, so definitely going a little bit further because that's only got 11. I'm sure that only goes up to about there. Difficult to tell. Anyway, it's a team bonus. So, oh no, sorry, towers and outposts. So if I build an outpost here. Actually, I haven't, uh, did I build a university yet? Uh, get that. So yeah, that definitely goes a lot further. That's quite handy. I should have not upgraded to a keep, but anyway, you can see what the keep looks like. It's pretty impressive. And finally, the wonder. So, I wonder if that is based on anything in particular. Let's have a look at the stone walls as well. I forgot to look at these. So. Whoever did the artwork definitely did a good job. Any other buildings I've missed? I don't think so. Anyway, thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next part for the Marlians.